Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another video. So today is Vlogmas day number seven and we're going to share with you our grocery haul and our meal plan and what we were able to get this week. I shopped one store, that was my regular grocery store, Harris Teeter, and I got more than just this week's groceries. Because Christmas is on a Tuesday and I shop on Wednesday, I went ahead and picked up a few of the Christmas items that I'm going to need. I don't have everything and my kids are bringing some, some things as well. So I did pick up the things that I could pick up and I'm very excited to share with you what I was able to get. So let me just pan around and show you. We do have quite a bit. This was a large haul for, for me. but. They had a lot of stock up and saves. A lot of buy twos, get three frees, and I always, always, always try to stock up and save. So um, I had $40 in my grocery budget. Then I did a little job and um, was able to make a little bit of money from that. And then um, received a blessing from a real personal good friend of mine. Um, so that took care of this week's grocery budget. So let me share with you again what I was able to get. Still no kids money, but um, that is what it is. So I've been able to supplement with the money I had saved from uh, to put into my Christmas envelope for groceries. Did a little job and then I got a little bit of a blessing. So let me share with you. So Bird's Eye had their buy two get three free veggies. So I got three cauliflower and two broccoli. I really, really, really wish that I had coupons for these because a lot of times they'll have coupons, but I did not have one. So buy two get three free, they were $2.99. So $6 for five bags of Bird's Eye, which is not bad because at $2.99 a piece, that would have been $15 right there. So $9 automatic savings. This Frigo um, shaved Parmesan cheese, this was $3.69, buy one get one free. So it ended up being $1.50 and then another $1.85. So I had a $0.50 cents off coupon that doubled to a dollar, so this was about $0.85, cents, a little bit less maybe. But I got two of, G two of these, we use a lot of Parmesan in our house. So I got, had two coupons, I got two of those. I got the Simply Potatoes, they were uh, buy one get one free at $2.99. These are not for me and the little kids, but my bigger kids requested hash browns. So I just got these Steakhouse seasoned potatoes and I'll just make like a home fry for them. And we do have a couple of guests coming over. I'm doing Strictly Keto Christmas, but this was, I think this is a one and only item that's not gonna be keto. So I did pick that up for the big kids because they asked. Picked up my regular two and a half dozen of eggs for $3.29. Picked up three pounds of these Sunkissed Delight oranges for Jackson at $2.99. And then I picked up these whole white mushrooms at $0.99 cents each. This Fresh Express spinach was $2.99. Then they had their Harris Teeter cheeses buy two get three free. I got 10 cheeses. So they were three. $39, buy one, get one free. Uh, no, they were not. They were buy two, get three free. So I spent about $7 on two, but I got five. Buy two, get three free. So I bought 10. And the reason why I got 10 is because we use a lot of mozzarella cheese, making fathead dough, um, biscuits, um, you know, the ch uh, red lobster cheddar bay biscuits. Now I'm doing the um, cheesy buns. The kids requested cinnamon rolls for Christmas, so I used that to make cinnamon rolls. So I just picked up a lot of mozzarella, but then I picked up a couple other things. We do like the Parmesan, and then my kids like the Wisconsin Extra Sharp. So I try to get a variety, but the majority of that is mozzarella. They had these um, Del Monte green beans. They were about to get three free, so they were $1.39. So for two of the two of them would have been two dollars and eighty cents, and then I had a dollar off of four. So it was buy two, get three free. So for four of them with my coupon, I paid a dollar and forty cents. That is how that worked out. So two dollars and eighty cents for ten cans. The next thing I got was this extra sweet 
pure leaf tea this is for Christmas uh, we do have guests coming over I'm gonna make a seltzer drink that the kids and I like but this was two for four dollars I had a 50 cent off coupon that doubled to a dollar so I paid a dollar for this and it's 64 ounces I picked up this um, sugar-free raspberry preserves at $3.79 because the kids like the raspberry um, cinnamon rolls instead of the cinnamon cinnamon rolls. So I guess they call raspberry rolls. But they liked, I made a different one last time and they liked that one better. Picked up some cinnamon sticks for the coffee and hot chocolate bar. Did not have any cayenne. This one was $1.29. This was $2.19. And then on the um, Hispanic Owl, I picked this one up. For $2.59, I needed some garlic. The heavy cream was two for five. Half and half was $1.49. Cream cheese was 99 cents each. This Jones pork sausage was um, $2.99. Buy one, get one free. So $1.50. And I had $1 off coupon, so I paid 50 cents for this. This sausage that I'm going to actually make a recipe that I saw on Moss Family TV. It had um, cinnamon rolls, ground up sausage and eggs, and it made it like a casserole. That was $1.99. This Simply Ragu was $1.88, but there was a dollar off of two. So they were like $3.78.76, and I had a dollar off. So $2.76 for two of those. But I'm gonna make the um, almost like lasagna, lasagna from the Craveable Keto Cookbook. Shelly made this on her channel, Shelly's Home Life. And so we are going to make the noodles and use the sauce because we were gifted that two pounds of hamburger meat. So I need to use that. So we're going to do that for the um, spaghetti sauce. This Hungry Jack um, light syrup was, let me think. Oh my goodness, I forget. $1.79. It's $1.79. And I had a 50 cent off coupon that doubled to a dollar. So I paid 79 cents each. So I am going to have these for Christmas, but um, the majority of this is going home with my daughter. She eats this stuff. And so I normally just find people in the church to give it to. But since she's going to be home and she eats that, I'm just going to let her take that. This tender bake um, pancake mix, I probably will make regular pancakes for Christmas for the people who don't eat keto pancakes. And um, that was $1.79. I also had a 50 cent off coupon that doubled to a dollar. So that was 79 cent. This Hershey's Gold was $4.69. I had a $2 off coupon. That came up at uh, $2.69. I think there may be an Ibotta rebate on that. I'm going to check my Ibotta. And then these Hershey Golds were 99 cent. And I had um, a, do um, a dollar off of two. So they were like two dollars, and then a dot. No, it was a dollar fifty off of two, seventy-five cents off of two. So I paid like forty-nine cents for two or a quarter a piece. We are doing a um, Christmas party at work, and so this is going to be my contribution. I'm going to take all of this candy and lay it out in the dessert bar, because so, I'm not going to eat any of it anyway. So I'll just leave that. I did pick up the Lily's um, chocolate chips at six ninety-nine. Even when I looked at the chocolate bar, the chocolate bar is four ounces and it's $4.99. This is nine ounces and it's $6.99. The chocolate chips per ounce are cheaper. So I just went ahead and picked this one up. Probably gonna do some muffins, some of the chocolate chip uh, coconut muffins that we like. And then I'll probably put some of this in the pancakes if people want that. These clear waters were 59 cents. The seltzer was 279. And these lemon poppy seed muffins. Now, a friend of mine at work asked me if I would pick these up for her because she doesn't get the Harris Teeter. So I told her I absolutely would. They were 499. She's supposed to pay me back tomorrow, but I'm not gonna let her. So I just picked those up. Two spa paper towels, 49 cents each. Um, soft and strong double roll was $1.89. And then this spaghetti squash was a little bit expensive it's 99 cents a pound so it ended up being almost four pounds which was a little bit expensive so let me share, share with you what i saved um, my balance was 97.07 so i had 12 dollars in manufacturer's coupons six dollars in double coupons 57.56 in vic savings for a total of 75.56 or 44 percent savings um, I used 10 double coupons. I had a lot of, um, what did I have? A lot of dollar offs that don't double during normal. 
So for so far this month, I have 197 fuel points. I've already used um, some. I got gas last week and I paid um, $1.97 for gas. And then the time before that, using fuel points, I paid $181. So this is our grocery haul. I am going to take you into my meal plan next. Okay, you guys, so here is our menu or meal plan for the week. So we're starting today on Wednesday, which is the 19th, and going all the way through Christmas Day, which is the 25th. So tonight we're having the white chicken chili, but I also used some of that ground beef that I had to go ahead and make egg roll in a bowl for lunch tomorrow. Then we're gonna have for dinner tomorrow night, just like the real thing, lasagna. We do have Taekwondo, these two, we had Taekwondo tonight, Taekwondo tomorrow. We do not have it on Friday. We are closed from the 21st until the first of the year. So Fathead Pizza on Friday, because I have to do Alana's hair, which will take me a couple hours. And then I have a Christmas party right after work. So I'll be home a little bit later than normal, but then we're going right into doing hair. On Saturday, which is the girlfriend's gift exchange, so me and my sister and our best friend, we all exchange gifts. So we're going out of town for this. But we're going to do garlic parmesan wings and the Nashville hot chicken. I think I have two bags of wings and we're going to cook those. Um, we'll probably put some sides to this. Um, Sunday, we're going to do the spaghetti squash with the rest of the um, ground beef that we got. From our friend because we just have church and then on monday which is christmas eve it's just going to be leftovers and fridge clean out everything has to come out of the fridge to make preparation for tuesday which is christmas and we do our annual christmas breakfast and i started writing in here things that we would eat but i'm going to go back into the gatherings tabs and, and write in all of the options and things that the kids ask for so we always do a christmas breakfast this goes back to when the kids were little and their dad would come and get them in the afternoon and so i would just tell him listen i need them to be here at least to 11 o'clock and then you can have them after so we stopped doing a big dinner and we just started doing a big breakfast we've probably been doing that now for seven or eight years a good a good seven or eight years but anyway, this is what our meal plan is looking like for this week. Always subject to change. This is going to be the first time I'm trying this just like um, the real thing lasagna that comes out of the Craveable Keto Cookbook on page 240. Um, I did see Shelly just make this on her channel. And so I am going to, well, she mentioned it. She didn't, I don't think she showed us how to make it, but she did show us what it looked like made. And so I'm going to give this a whirl. Um, Alana is working on the noodles right now. And so there it is. This is our meal plan. So again, um, just thinking about what Shelly said as far as grocery shopping. So this week I just tried to go ahead and shop because I know Christmas is Tuesday, which of course my grocery shop day is always on Wednesday. So I'm pretty much done. I actually... Um, have a little bit left and I got to see what we still need no I know my kids are bringing some stuff and then I'm supposed to be getting some additional things tomorrow but we're pretty set I'm gonna sit down look at my um, gatherings page and then see what I need to um, further bring to enhance the meal we are having several guests this year we try to have guests every year I put out on Facebook yesterday if there's somebody who doesn't have somewhere to go please 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 let us know they are more than welcome to come for breakfast because we know a lot of people spend you know the evenings with their family so that is what we're doing we do hope that you all have gotten your Christmas or holiday meal plans together. I probably will film the um, Chris keto Christmas menu and just do that probably in one of the rest of the Vlogmas videos. But anywho, that is our meal plan and grocery haul for this week. Thank you guys so much for stopping by for Vlogmas day number seven. And we'll see you next video. Bye now.